Welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic and we're picking up the series on the 13th of February 1979. We managed to get through the winter without any major catastrophes. In fact, things seem to be going quite well. But before that, as usual, a big thank you for your comments and feedback. You guys have given me so much to think about. Now, some of the old comments did relate to uh, Petrograd here. Somebody actually commented about why I put this big building in here and why it was so far away. And I probably didn't explain properly at the time. I put this building in partly as an experiment and it seemed to fit well into that area there. And I know it is a little bit close to the oil refinery. So there's a, a very real possibility I won't actually build this. But what I've actually done during the winter was is I put in some more apartment blocks here. And somebody actually pointed out that my bus station in Petrograd wasn't particularly that well placed. And as, as a strange coincidence, I'd already taken the, bu the bus station up to put in a school and a kindergarten and a university on this end. Again, for very much for the reasons of pollution. And my original plan was to actually move the bus station in a bit this far. But based on their suggestion, what I've actually done is I've put the, the bus station here. And I've put another road in and a kind of Y junction here. I must admit, I'm not a big fan of these large bus stations because I'm really, they sh I feel they should have a second entrance either out here or out here. So what I've done is put that in here. And I think overall it's working quite well. The other thing I've also put in over here is a fire station because in the last part we had a fire down here. And you can see I've actually, this has actually been built back in again. Uh, we got fire again. I seem to have a. Oops, I burnt the message. So we have to wait for it to either get a message to say it's been extinguished or whether we get a crash. And in a similar vein, I come down here and I just want to show you here the, the progress I'm slowly making on these bridges. In fact, the, the, this one's going quite well. I think the other one isn't going quite so well. And I have to admit that. This is going to be the last map. In fact, I've actually made a note in my game diary to say no more maps with big bridges and long tunnels. I think two series having to spend ages building bridges is enough because we've got this one here. I've also got the prospect of drilling a major tunnel through this. And of course, we've also got to build a, a major bridge up here as well. And of course, we've got lots of bridges up here as well which have got to be a bit of a problem <laughs> the other thing i've also done up here is I, I got a bit bored during the winter so I, what i've done is is i've pushed the road out through here and it took a little while to get these bridges across here so we got bridges there and then i, I kind of got even more bored <laughs> so what i actually did was is i created this road down all the way down through here and the way I did this is by looking for the green. And that's why it's kind of built in short sections. And I've actually made a connection to this outside road here. Oh, the fire is extinguished, so we could get okay, no brisk or problem. One of the main reasons for bringing this road out here is the relatively slow rate of progress. Because I'm kind of trapped in this corner. And I think when I do this map again, although to be honest, I won't be doing this map again as a series. I think what risk really suits this map is actually having multiple settlements so and um, i think what i will do when i do this map again is i will start here and build up a steel industry and then once the money's rolling in i would probably go up and start a new town up here and of course i would then come down and build a new town here so rather than trying to work out one corner especially this corner this corner was probably a very bad decision to be honest because of the nature of all the various obstructions that have slowed everything up. What I would do is, is work out from these areas and work towards the center and across to this area here. I think this, that would be a more efficient way of doing the map. And of course, with the new update, yeah, you know, there's a possibility of using construction offices with helicopters. Although I did watch one video and said that you only got two helicopters per construction office. And that doesn't seem to particularly very good. Now, if you look up in the up in my money, is at the moment I'm still got a bit of a cash flow process, which is slowing up some of my processes with respect to getting extra construction trains in. Because one idea I am toying with is rather than shipping out the electronic devices this way, what I was thinking is that because it's a bit nearer to here, is actually using a train 
because one advantage with the train over ships is that we could get a more frequent um, system going and what I've also done here is I planned a series of distribution offices is I was kind of looking at this area and once the construction offices have moved out what I want to do is put, rework the distribution in this area so that we can make the industry a bit more efficient the other thing also looking at this map and again this is in the context of the new update is that I would like to build a some fire coverage for this area so I think what we'll be doing when the new update comes out is we we'll, might be reshaping these areas to put in say fire and hospital coverage now while I've been talking things have been going along here quite well before I started the video I checked the power station it's very close but of course we were short of steel now the problem with steel is the fact if you look up there I've, my money is barely growing and the problem is that if I build more ships and start bringing in more coal, um, iron and coal you can see I've already got it here and the problem now is coal and I think to be honest importing large amounts of aggregate for a key service like steel is probably not one of my better ideas and it's something I probably won't use in the future not when you're getting started I think maybe later on once you've got a, a stronger economy it might work but I'm finding the ship deliveries are a little bit too irregular for keeping this steel industry going flat out all the time and I, I and again I'm half considering whether it might be better to get set up a, a rail line and import the coal but then in the, what, what's to stop me bringing in the coal down from up here so we've really got to start making these connections now, something else that's working, working pretty well now is, oh look at, we're starting to come out of winter, is I've now, the concrete plant is now connected here. I've also got the cement plant up and running, so we're, I've no longer got to ship cement up to here. The only possible problem I am going might have here is exporting the surpluses, which I had as a kind of a problem which I hadn't thought of. So the final industry we need to get in here, and we're getting very close again with this, is the prefab industry. And then, of course, what I'm going to need to do is get the conveyors in so we can get the brick production started up here as well. And I think if we can get that done, and then, of course, we need to get across here and build in our, uh, what we call it here, the rail construction office. So we've still got a little bit more to fill in in this area. Uh, but let me just have a look now. Okay, we've got Gravelton construction. So we are we are getting things together here, and hopefully things will start working a lot better. Arm um, built. So again, I'm gonna have to kind of push out some money on this. We've got the combine here. Look at the sewing options. Combination of. Uh, Miracles was I using when we got time yet? When not, what am I using in here? Yeah, we got four tractors. My inclination is to go to five tractors because you can see I've put some more fields on this, but not all the fields are connected in yet. I think what we'll do is we'll start with four tractors. What have we got here? We've got the speed 26, speed 22, speed 20. That's 25 kilometers an hour. 34 speed 24 this has got a faster sewing speed but it's a bit slower getting around there 24 24 I'm slightly inclined towards a uh, a slower sewing speed with um, maybe I don't know then again we've got big fields so maybe the faster okay, let's just kind of go half and half and see what how actually happens now the problem I've got here is I've got no gas station. I really need to try and push this gas station a little bit. Oops. <laughs> so this isn't going to be particularly that efficient this year. When we got a few big fields in here. Of course not everything is built. We still need to get in the distribution offices. Which um, haven't actually even been built connected yet. Island farm road crew. And of course we've got, the, we've got nowhere to store the goods so we've got to try and push some of this forward a little bit um, 
you got Graviton main construct, I think. I think we're going to bring in Winchester on this one as well. Over here, I'm working on a new enlarged construction office. And the idea behind this is to be able to push out and build these roads. You can see the road crews are doing quite well out here. The, the problem is the railway at the moment. Of course, we've got another great big long tunnel through here. I'm going to have to stop my obsession with tunnels. Winchester came through the winter pretty well. I mean, we're still getting quite a lot of escapes, but a lot of these are down to the fact that we've got lots of over 21 still. I'm not sure if we've got any slack in this area again. Yeah, it looks like we've actually had a few problems. But I'm not exactly sure what would have caused those problems. Or is it just the fact that it's this building on the corner here? Looks like it's just this building on the corner here. Maybe and what I could do is bring some more people up here. Over 21s. We've got a fair amount in here. Play out about Ratty here. One, two, three. And then we'll pick out a couple from another 30 from here. One, two, three. I mean, growth in Gosport's a little bit slower than it used to be, so I need to keep an eye on that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that will. And um, maybe we can pull a few out of here as well. Put you into here. Two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll take the rest from Portsmouth. Yeah, I mean, we've got just book a few buildings this time. I mean, there's not a massive amount from here. But the other problem also is Winchester's now getting to a size where it really needs space for its own population to expand into. Two, three, four, five. Got one, two, three, four, five. And we'll book some out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll just see if the over 21s are going to drop down. Dropping down a little bit. Um, so I'm not. I mean, the happiness is high. And as far as I know, we had no heating problems during the winter. Because I was able to get this heating plant online. And we've got work, should have workers in here keeping this going. So I can't understand why this would have had a heating problem. And we got food. One thing I am considering is getting the electronics out and running as well. So we're just going to keep working on this area here. Now, the main reason why I've not gone all out for a logistics hub here is because I'm not really planning on building anything up here. The most I'm liable to build up here is another farm. But, but of course, there will be advantages with pushing out a road tunnel. But again, I'm not sure I want to put a road tunnel through here. I might put a rail tunnel through it. But then that means we've got to use a rail construction office. And again, it's all a little bit messy. Oh, the other thing I've also done is down here because you watched the previous video I said that this was a little bit of a bust and it is to be honest but what I've actually done is I have put this through here and they built this road link here quite nicely and what I'm hoping is that if I can get this road bridge finished or when this road bridge is finished when the trucks are picking up the harvest from here they won't have to go all the way out around here to get back they better go straight across here to these depots 
and oh these roads are finished the other thing i also did through the winter was, was upgrade all these roads to gravel and what eventually what i'd like to do is possibly make them into asphalt as well and let me just see come on guys you can do this uh, yeah, it was, it's the steel that's the problem. I'm just gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to punch the game forward a little bit because in some ways at the moment now we're kind of playing catch up and I'm kind of reluctant to push out anything else in the moment. Okay, it looks like these guys are... Uh, thank you again. We got concrete coming into here. Brambleton Bridge Crew. Well, actually, I really what I need is Brambleton Main Construct on here. Actually, let's do it the quick way. I really need another construction office up here, a big one. And if we get that in there and I think we've got still got a road capability here and we'll just put that in there now over in Gravelton itself here so I've kind of laid out a few more uh, footpaths and got some more space in here it's just a question now of pulling these components together but the other problem I also need to do is we need to finish off this road here and of course I need to get power across to Gravelton as well so come on, come on game you can do it you can do it and oh I've got a gas station here yeah um I think we're gonna put Gravelton main construction on that gas station the moment see if I don't get this ga gas station built <laughs> these tractors have got a long way to go I think they're gonna have to come all the way down to here at the moment this is the main fuel um, gas station at the moment. I mean, eventually I'd like to get a gas station over here. And of course, we need to get the heating plant in here. But I'm, again, I'm just reluctant to overload things. I just want to make sure. So we have to another fire. Yeah. Oh. And let's just go over here. So, so this block's nearly finished. So we're get, getting very close to getting an, another block here. We've got 275 over 21s. We're getting very close here with respect to getting this finished. See, this is actually going quite well. But again, of course, it's jolly old steel again. And I've got this little gas station here that's now got fuel in as well. Let's take a look at my trains this guy's kind of working his way up there I mean the problem is they're getting further and further away from the terminals let's have a look at the coal situation yes yeah, so we got so we've got lots of steel I mean we are getting the occasional deliveries of coal from up here what's this food crops yep oh, I've also emptied out the haven't supply crew so these guys can go Let's just take you out because that's a bit of a misrepresentation what have you guys got? You've got a little bit left to do. I think I want to make sure. I mean, again, the Haven't crew are a little bit kind of too far away. Okay, road connection doesn't exist. Yeah, it's just who's working on this. So uh, let's get that built in there. Got a new vehicle type aircraft. Yes, thank you, game. 
Um, see what these guys are doing. Petrograd. I mean, these guys have got lots of equipment in here, which I could really do some with somewhere else, but I don't think I've really got the space for them. It's up here, how many? Yeah, you're now full of equipment, but it's a bit of a hodgepodge at the moment. That's one of the reason why I would like to get a road this road crew out operating here. Because most of the roads in this area are finished beyond the bridges. So I think if I can get this road crew up and running, they can then push out this way and get all start building up this area here. How we got up here? Yeah, these guys are doing okay now. So we got beginning of another farm here. So eventually we'll be able to when I'm <laughs> let me just keep pushing yeah as you may have guessed this is meant is meant to wait what are you building this for you're meant to be building that you're meant to be building these and this down here and the fire station i did put a small fire station in here uh, we'll see what you guys are working on. Yeah, I'm, what I want to do is just kind of hedge my bets a little bit here. We have a small fire station here, but we need this road here. Um, Petrograd, I think. I think we can, maybe we can get the Haven Road crew over here. I've also got these guys up here. And I think you're working on bridges and various other bits and pieces. What I do want to do is just make sure that they are working to Gravelton. Yeah, they're working to Gravelton. And of course, unfortunately, the workers have got to come in from Portsmouth. But I'm hoping that these guys will keep things going. And you can see I actually got quite a lot of open hole trucks in here. I don't know if I've got a bit more space here. I've got a little bit more space here. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you... This is something I've been thinking about. Is... If we can hook you... And I think if we can send you... Back to... Say... Here. You can pick up one of the pave the paver and take it out back over to there how much space have i got in here i mean they are going a little bit carried away i mean they are literally chucking the road out this way i don't need but at the same time i do need it's it's a bit of a contradiction in terms how many you've only got the three i mean you've got lots of dumpers and what you really need is another. I mean, you've got a roller. You've got one paver that's currently not being used. I can only take up two slots because I've sent an open hole back to over there. And these open holes are literally just moving the vehicles around. I'm wondering whether if I just buy another. Buy another bulldozer. Actually, this aha, I just sort of thought. We've got an asphalt paver here. It goes at 15, cut 45 tons. 45. It's got a work speed of 45. And I've got some money for a paver. So this, so this is an old version. I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy another bulldozer here and we're going to buy a, a new more modern paver here I know this paver is kind of sat here doing nothing and we got a roller yeah, it's just this guy's still got a little bit of extra space in here. 
Ah. Don't really need you there. I think what we're going to do is move you to there. I really feel that this guy needs to be on something that's going to be a bit more productive. Maybe if we can get you onto. Can't get you on those buildings. Can't get you on those buildings. Okay. It's just. Maybe these haven't been picked up. So. Just we can get built in some of these here. Got a footpath there that shouldn't be um, mud. So we'll change that. Another one there. Oops. Connect you up like that. Boom. So this is nearly finished. And hopefully once this is finished up, we can start sending some food down here and get some clothes in here. And then that will work. How are we doing? Okay, we have lift off and we've got a few workers in here. So um, kind of got a fire station here, which at the moment I'm kind of ah, that's why. So what have we got into here? If we just got a little micro bus that's kind of running around at the moment. This is Winchester coal fire. Let's just have a quick look at this. Yeah, we've got kind of two mini buses on this. I'm kind of thinking that I want to really keep this going well. We're going to need 20 in there and 48 in there. I think maybe it's time to bring in a bit of a bigger bus here. Now I do have this bus here, which is um, carries 95 passengers. It's a little bit OP really, isn't it? But uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Um, 32 passengers. It's only slightly big. I think what I will do is we're just going to allocate you to that route. I know it's a little bit over the top. Um, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll let the, the route get established and then what I'll do is I'll probably take one of those minibuses off. So then we'll have a, a large bus and a minibus. At the moment this is only generating about 1.6 megawatts now what I want to know is how much power is my hydropower drawing because what I wouldn't mind doing is just ticking up this a little bit because at the moment we're only exporting 20% and if I push this up to 30% this is exactly the reason why I want to try out the new update in beta because I'm going to be absolutely fascinated to see what actually happens. But see, it looks like most of the power has been drawn from that power station there. And how much power has been drawn from here? The, at the moment, this is still only 1.5 megawatts. So what's happening is that there's no despite the fact that we got cross connections uh, it looks like predominantly a lot of the power has been drawn from this uh, power station which means that I could get shortages in this area and again returning to the overlay this could be quite useful where's my coal train oh, where, wait. where is my coal ships almost like the iron ships are coming in but 
I'm keeping this absolutely chunk of block with full of this. Actually got an oil tanker here. And how far in? You've only just started this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna flip you back to uh we're gonna go back to a hopper ship. I've got the I've got the one tanker that I wanted ready to keep the oil refinery full up here. So I'm gonna be quite happy. Next question is how many ships can you store here before the port starts complaining? Finish vehicles. It's interesting this one's not I mean I could send him I think I'm just gonna leave him there for the moment. Any of you guys know how many ships that can sit here until such time as they've got something? Uh, I don't think I've got a problem with fuel it oil imports at the moment, so I don't really want to do that. Actually, one thing I do want to check is fuel. You got 24 tons. Ah, look at that, see? Okay, we're getting a little bit of a problem now with respect to fuel. Ah, ha, ha, we might have a fuel crisis. Got fuel down here. We got a little bit of fuel over there. We got a little bit of fuel over there. We got fuel over here, which is keeping things going. And hopefully I've got backup fuel up here. Yeah, we got 146 tons here. I think what's happened is where I've been filling this tank up. So effectively what we've got really is a localized shortage here. How about over here? Yeah, so over here we're doing okay. As we can see we've got we've got fuel in here a little bit. So what we've got is a localized shortage. Which I'm kind of okay with. <laughs> Luckily, our worker transport is all based on electricity, and I think this is one of the advantages of using trolley buses. If you've got the fuel supply a little bit shaky, and uh, having trolley buses, as long as you've got the power, things are okay. I'm just wow. It's almost like this power station isn't really picking up its its share of the load here. So I've got a feeling that when the new update comes out and we've got the new overlay, we're going to be taking a little bit more of a concentrated look at the how things are going. Well, one thing is that now that I'm exporting power, we're making a little bit more money, which is exactly what I wanted to do. I'm going to keep an eye on here. I'm going to find some way to get this um, out. Problem is, uh, when I built this, I didn't take into consideration the need to export cement. Let me just see. What are we doing here? Winchester Construction there. Okay, we've got a bit of a sport issue here again. Um, have a look. We've got the gym. Yeah. I mean, we've got a little bit of space here. Um, have a queue. <laughs> okay, is everybody getting sick? Maybe because they're not healthy. Let me just put in. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just have a. Uh, I think I should be able to get one of these in here, shouldn't I? I think if I put it about there, we can. Might have put path there through to there, then we can hook off the back of there like that and then hopefully that will all get picked up yeah ambulances seem to be very busy uh, let's just have a look at the sickness profile here are people getting sick? oh where is it? I'll never find it 85% 89% not brilliant is it? let's just have a look, compare with these are up in the 90s these are 90s so 86 again the health isn't brilliant here it's not when we don't have a pollution problem do we 
a little bit close there, but it's all still on the green. <laughs> I thought I thought I'd pull it. Oh no, of course. Uh, let's have a look at this one here. Yeah, I mean it kind of creeps in a little bit on that close on that edge there. I think I bought built a pollution monitor up here as well. Oh, where is it? There it is. Um, starting to wonder. So we're not getting that much pollution there. This should be far enough away to everybody happy. Another 597. Okay. I mean, I can bring more people up to here. Uh, how's the shops looking? Well, the shops got all everything. Whoops, get out of the way. I mean, we've got plenty of clothes and got quite a lot of food flowing in. As far as I know, the crops are, oh, seem to have gone down. Oh, we're in May and we've got still got 500 tonnes of food here. Let's have a quick look over here at Gosport. Gosport's got loads of food in here as well. Okay, let me just, I'm just going to move up some more over 21s. out a couple from there and there two three five six seven eight nine ten one three four five okay and we got I mean, this is a happy town. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, and we'll just pick up a couple more from here. Two, three, four, five, six. That should kind of whip out the population from there. Of course, we've got and we'll just pick out a, a few more. Two, three, four, five. It was the fire. On oh, fire crews. You should be on the ball. You see that fire crew he kind of cut all the, the trucks up so there must be a mechanic in the game that says don't get in the way of a fire crew <laughs> mm. let's just have a look over here do you want we've got growing um, okay what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna put in the harvesters on a little bit of wishful thinking. We've got a speed level 30. I mean, I think the these are better, but can't really spend too much money on them. So we're gonna have to go cheap here for the moment. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Go with five at the moment. So we go four against five. Uh, right, we've got the storage here. And these aren't going to be ready, are they? So I'm going to build these in Gravelton main construct. Gravelton, we have to get, make sure we get Gravelton uh, Island Farm. I think what I may have to do here. Uh, trouble is, I can't. Got, we've got a little bit of storage here, 136 tons, but. Nothing nearby that well ah, we've got some here. We've got some open holes. We've got five trucks here. A long way from here though, isn't it? I mean I could 
put in because we got we got the storage but we don't have uh, I think what we're going to do is let it run for the moment if we go if we get up to around June July what I'll do is I'll buy some open holes and assign them to here and what they can do is they can gather the crops and put it into here as a temporary solution until this is all sorted out 1.4 million I'm very tempted to get another railway construction train because as it's pointed out in the comments uh, getting here Just take a quick look at the signals here. Yeah. Okay. Um, need a mixed signal there. Kind of. Uh, actually, we're gonna have to put a mixed signal there like that this section's got the moment's going to have to stay the way it is at the moment um this guy actually doing anything have i got have i got supply problems with my the fuel <laughs> Okay, who's supplying fuel to here? A um, bit transfer, yeah. I think what we're going to have to do is put in. Where is this here? We've got a little bit of surplus fuel here. What we will do is add you here as well. Yeah, fuel's becoming a problem. Yeah, that's what's... There's no point in me putting another construction train on here until we've got the fuel situation sorted out. Well, there's always one problem after another, isn't there? And you probably find this... Oh, this guy's full up, so... I'm guessing it's you've got fuel you've got fuel okay so where are these guys then well you're okay you're over there so you're the one that's what are you waiting for Okay, you've got fuel. I'm wondering whether I've got a brick problem. But effectively, I've got one of these on strike. I haven't run out of jobs, have I? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. I mean, all the jobs are eradicated. These guys, so why are you... I need more bricks into here. Um, who's delivering the bricks? Raw materials. Push this up to about 50%. Um, yep. Yeah. So we got steel, it's the bricks that's holding everything back and so hopefully we'll get more into here it's got another 370 tons of bricks to put in and how many more have you got you've got another 99 tons and 142 tons of steel wow okay let's get over here Wow. Built that quick. It's a little bit ahead of the game. Sorry. Uh, we've built the ore refinery, but we don't have power and we don't have things. So 
what we got here technical services I really need this to be built it's kind of coming together it's just whoops wait fire crews here he comes want that built Yeah, I've got a feeling when we're going to have to um, staff this with people with buses, but it's going to be a long way out to get this under line. So I think maybe we need to start pushing this a little bit with respect to accommodation. Back onto that. We've got a store built. We really need to get Petrograd built. Bit annoying that I built the oil refinery before we built anything else, and of course there's always a risk of fire. Um, how are you going here? Certainly wouldn't mind this being built as well. Okay. I mean this is coming along quite well. Get that built in there, and if I could. So we've got no power here, that's the problem. And when we got power to this side, but we don't have power in on this side at the moment. But we're gonna need to work on that. We've got 1.6 million. I don't think we really need this pipeline just at the moment. We've got probably more than enough here to accommodate people. We've got 700 and <laughs> over 21s again. Okay, let's get uh, Gravelton Bridge crew, uh, get expansion construction on that. If we can sort out this sport problem here. Maybe we can put, what we got here? Oh, we got a gym here, Gravelton Bridge crew. But Hellas construction and expansion city construction on that. Back over here. Wow. This is nearly finished. And what we'll probably need to do is get some workers kind of very tempted to put the bus in here. Right away, what you've got here. Yeah, you're just providing workers here at the moment. You're providing 45 workers. I think probably to start with, if this does minute manage to finish, actually, what I could do is we got the how many workers have I got in this area here? Mm, yeah, how many workers have I got? We've got loads of people working here. I think what we're going to do is you guys actually doing anything yeah, you've got quite a lot but you've got a lot of vehicles sat around doing nothing oh one thing we do need is we need to get the power into this area as well also a risk that this oh it's also a risk that this won't have power either. Although, I think I did put... Yeah, we got power there. That's good. Wait, what was I doing? Yes, I was going to put a bus in here. Um, how many workers do I... Does this... How many workers does this thing take? Allergy... Needs about 370 workers a day. So if I start with uh, something that's got a fair amount of passages, this is quite slow. 66, 100 kilometers, 45. Now, when the distance isn't great, so 66, 
66, 60, 57 passengers. Um, kind of. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll go for capacity over speed. Question is, does this? Oh, where is it? Do these guys actually have a route. Expansion book sites. Oops. Expansion book sites. And what we're going to do is assign you to that as well. Okay, we got fire there. Okay, books in the silo. The fire crew's there. <laughs> These little fork trucks. Can I get better fork trucks? No. I think get ones here, but I don't think there's a lot in it to be honest. Right, we've got fuel in now. Let's see if the our friend here is actually doing anything. Nope. I think what I will do is put another train, get another one here. Um, oops, I want that. I think what we're going to do is get another one in here as well. I don't think I really want one of these. What I would like is the uh, 65. I wouldn't mind something with a bit more speed. Um, tunnel up. Rack builder speed is only 10 though on that. This 35. This is 70. Um, I think I am going to go with another one of these. I'm starting to wonder whether somehow maybe I've messed up the signals. Um, what we're going to do is come up here. If I can find the job here. And then what I'm going to do is allocate this one up here as well. I'm just starting to wonder whether these signals are causing a problem. And they shouldn't do. This guy's out in a flash. So, what's up? It's almost like I've got one train that refuses to work. But we're all going a little bit ballistic now. <laughs> I've now got four construction trains working. I think that will work quite well. How's the steel? We've still got a steel problem here and it's coal. Really got to get try and find some way to get some coal, more coal into this area. I just don't understand why my... Maybe if I can get another hopper ship built. How long is it? I mean, this is coming along quite well. If I can get another Oh, a hopper ship that's carrying coal. I want to check to make sure these are working. Where are you? It's okay, let's just check. So you're loading. You're loading still. It's almost like they're both loading coal at the same time. So it look so I'm, I think I'm okay for steel. I think I just need more coal. So I think I think two to two is probably not good enough. It's um we need to build another one of those. 
and I'm aware time is pushing on so okay, let me just go a quick recap I think we've kind of kicked the these guys into a little bit just slow the game up a little bit we're on the 29th of June Got a quick look here I think if we can get these two bridges finished and, and it looks like they're actually both now starting to push along quite quickly and if I can then get to work on pushing up this way get a feeling this this bit of track is stuck well, I think I'll just give it a little while and see what happens it just seems to be there's a break is there a break in the track there no there's not a break in the track there it's almost like it won't do build this bit of a track but is i mean these guys this guys going like a train up here <laughs> i mean eventually up here i'm going to need to think about a crossover let me just see this is just about to finish and um, this is all hark thing so i mean we're in july now so how many of these fields did we <coughs> manage to say we got this one so that one actually i don't think this is going to show me on the overlay is it i have to do it the hard way so that one's finished that one's that one's growing so we got all big fields here Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not a sign because these bits of road are not finished yet. Why is that not assigned? Should be. Um, I think what probably happened is these roads were finished. After that is gone. Mm. Right. Got him without a power supply. Okay, um I got this built here. I need Gravelton main construct on here. And we certainly want that. Graviton main construct on here. Quite interesting that the farm worked even though it wasn't actually connected. Of course, <laughs> this has got to come back to here. And we still haven't built this through here. So I really need to get a little bit of a leg on with this. Plus construction, Winchester, Graviton bridge crew. Gravelton main construct on there. Gravelton main construct onto here. And probably would we'll get the island road crew on this working as well. Of course, we're going to have to put in Gravelton main construct onto there. There's a another little bit here. Gravelton main construct onto there. And I think let me see. What we're gonna do is got plenty of cash. So we're gonna have to go for the temporary solution. So covered holes one, two, three, four, five, six. I think rather than waste time putting the crops into there, I think what, oops, huh, what we're going to do is we we'll put how much, how many crops we get? 300, 600, 900, 1200, 15, 18, 21, 24, uh, 2700. So that's so. I think we will put it in directly into there. 
then one, two, three, four, five, six. Done. <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. Ah, it's because I can only do so many. Um, I think if we do that. For this, can I allocate some more of these? I think what I'm going to do is we've got a bit of space. I think I'm going to take the take out this one and then we're put in unload there 90% unload. And uh, this building is already out of side. Where is it then? Winchester crops for. Okay. You unload. Okay. I think if we go with that, this is big field, big field, big field. Winchester crops silo. Yeah, I think if we send the crops directly to here rather than sending it up there and then having to truck it all down to there. And hopefully we will get something from here that will actually work. But it's all a little bit of a mess, but hopefully we will get some crops from that. And of course, one advantage of putting crops into here, well, I can send them down over this way. And I've just realised the time. This is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.